What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with a top tier Miradon team for ranked regulation G. Now, if you guys have been watching my most recent videos, you guys would know I'm about top 1000 in master, which is why I picked this team out here. I want to use a strong team that we can actually push a little bit higher for you guys with. But let's talk about this team a little bit. We got Miradon in the top left hand corner, top tier restricted Pokemon with Hadron Engine and the choice specs as its item. It's got Electro Drift, Bolt Switch, Discharge, and Draco Meteor for an amazing moveset for this Pokemon. Another thing that you guys should notice is the Terror types on this team. Four out of the six Pokemon have Ground Terror type. This is going to perfectly pair up Miradon with basically anybody, allowing us to discharge freely, doing big time damage, getting paralysis, and not hitting our opponents at the same time. We have Grimstarl on today's team for support, and if you guys know me, I love this support Grimstarl. I love Light Screen Grimstarl. We got Prankster, Light Clay with Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, and Thunder Wave. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Chiyu, Iron Bundle, Iron Hands, and Frigoramp. Frigoramp's going to be a nice little Trick Room setter or Trick Room counter, however we want to play it. Chiyu and Iron Bundle are going to be great special attacker, and Iron Hands is just Iron Hands, fake outs, and big time physical attacking damage. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go hop into the master tier with this Miride on team. Now, the team that we are using today was made by my boy Clover Bells. Huge shout out to him. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth or grab some more awesome rental codes, make sure you head over to his channel. Link will be down in the description below. But we are going up against a top tier Zamacenta and Chandelure team. Been seeing this team used actually a good bit in Regulation G, so I know it's a pretty strong one. They also got Rillaboom, Shen Pao, Fluttermane, and last but not least, Galarian Moltres. Now, Rillaboom. We're not a fan of, considering that I think it just takes terrain control, especially from your ride on. So we're going to have to play this one a bit differently. I do like the Iron Bundle here. I do like Chiyu. I do like both of them. But a problem here could just be like, Rillaboom, Grassy Glide, and Iron Bundle. But I don't mind this lead, right? I feel like this lead's pretty solid. We got some speed with Iron Bundle. It's a fast Pokemon. Can really get after it. 206 speed with Icy Wind. Could be nice. And I could bring in your ride on just to take away terrain if they want to go into Rillaboom turn one. So that could be your play. I do like that, and then in the back end, final Pokemon. Iron Hand's not too shabby here. Pretty bulky Pokemon. We do have to watch out for Zombacenta. Zombacenta is just a tough customer, but I like our team here. I do like our squad. We are not going to bring in screens with Grimstarl as much as I would love to. I just feel like the Chiyu Iron Bundle lead is better in our interest, especially if they go into Zombacenta turn one, or even Rillaboom, because if they go Rillaboom, we can just swap and get terrain control with Miraidon, which is great, which is lovely for us. But we'll, we'll just see who they want to lead. We do have Curver Cloak with Chiyu, which is good news for us. Which is beautiful news for us. And they're going to end up going Fluttermane and Zamazenta, which I don't mind. I don't mind. As long as Fluttermane's not booster energy, which it probably is, right? Then we should have some nice speed control here. And I guess we'll find out right here. I don't know if it is. Let's see. It is. So it's going to boost our energy up on speed. It is going to be fastest Pokemon on the field. So that's the fastest Pokemon right here. Um, hmm. I could go Icy Wind, slow him down just a tad bit. I could Terrasilize and go into Terra Blast if I want to. That's not bad. That is honestly not a bad play. Just to go Ground Terra and a straight up attack. Is that what I want to do? Kind of, but I'd rather slow him down too. I'd rather slow him down first and foremost. We're going to go for the Icy Wind here. Icy Wind into Heat Wave. I could Snarl if I want to, but I just think this is our play. Yeah, he's going to pick up a KO onto me. If he's going to pick up a KO onto me, hopefully I can pick up a KO onto him. He's going to Terrastalize turn one. Is that going to be Fluttermane and Fairy? No, it's going to be Zamazenta into Dragon, which is fine. I mean, we're Icy Wind in that slot. A nice, lovely Dragon Terror type to kind of bypass the fire damage. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. He's going to actually Icy Wind me. How dare you Icy Wind me? I want to Icy Wind you. I want to Icy Wind you. Now, who are you going to KO here? You're going to KO my Iron Bundle. That sucks. Can't believe you went for Icy Wind. Cannot believe you went for Icy Wind. So he goes for Icy Wind here. Um, I think we're forced to kind of bring out. I think we're kind of forced to just go into me right on here. Now, if they want to hard swap into Rillaboom, that's fine because we're dropping a Heat Wave. I think we just straight up attack this, uh... I think we straight up attack this Zamazenta. Maybe with a Draco Meteor. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Draco Meteor that thing. I could protect this slot. 
I just want to terrestrialize you just so you don't get absolutely dumped on by whatever Fluttermane has to offer. Because you could go Icy when and take out Chiyu. You could do that. You could do that. Or I could protect. You know what? We're just going to stick with Heat Wave here. We're just going to stick with Heat Wave here. I, I could see a swap coming out here, but I guess not. No swap. No swap. We're hope hopefully, they're going for the fairy move. Hopefully, we could soak it up. And they might take out our Chiyu. But if I could take out Chiyu for Zamazenta, that wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. But I don't know because I want to swap me right on as well. See, he's going to go for Thunder Wave, which we dodge. That's huge. Or we don't dodge. It doesn't affect us. Now Draco Meteor can fly. Pick up the KO onto you. See you later. And now all we need is Heat Wave to land. If Heat Wave can land, we could be sitting in a pretty pretty good position because Fluttermane would be gone. I can then hard swap me right on. I can get out Iron Hands. I can potentially protect Chiyu for that turn just to buy out a turn. And Heat Wave is going to land. That's massive. Bye bye Fluttermane. So that's a huge turn for us to just terrestrialize into into electric and bypass that thunder wave to be honest i'm surprised he didn't go for a uh an icy wind but thunder wave would have worked actually pretty well actually no it wouldn't like we're, we're part electric anyway so it wouldn't have worked if we terrestrialize or didn't terrestrialize so real boom comes out here we are going to swap it to the iron hands um hmm we gotta get our special attack back so yeah do we do we protect here though we could protect. I think we should protect. I think we go into you. And then we just protect the Chiyu here. Because they could just go for Sacred Sword and really just do some damage to me. So if I just protect this turn, I can have Fake Out next turn. I can read a Protect on Shen Pao. I can Fake Out that Robin, which I think I want to do, right? I think Shen Pao is going to protect next turn when I pose the threat of Iron Hands. Then I can really get after, especially with Terrain. Especially with Terrain. This is pretty... We're sitting in a pretty good position now. Especially after a swap in this Protect. But we're really hoping they just attack the Chi U slot. Kind of keep my Iron Hands at full HP would be lovely. But that was just some big time chaos, especially for for uh, that Drake and Meteor taking out the uh, the Drake and Meteor taking out Zamazenta was huge. It was huge because everyone knows Zamazenta is just such a huge threat. They end up protecting Chi U. There's the Sacred Sword. We blocked that. Thank you very much. And from here, what are you going for? High horsepower. That's fine. I mean. You choice banned? Are you choice banned? Hold up. You one shot at me? Is this thing choice banned? Wasn't even crit. That's gotta be choice banned Rollaboom. Why is that doing that much damage to Iron Hands? That's absurd. That, that that scares me because I don't think my Miraidon could soak up a shot now. I do not think Miraidon could soak up a shot now. Now we're sitting here. Who is faster is the real question. It's going to be Shen Pao. Now this sucks because Sacred Sword KOs me. That really just ruined everything. I thought we were going to win this match no problem. But a high horsepower from Rillaboom is KOing me. As much as I want to go for Electro Drift, I can't. So we're just going to discharge maybe with this electric terrain. I mean, we're gonna KO or Chiyu, but he's gonna KO Chiyu anyway. He is gonna KO Chiyu, Chiyu anyway. We're gonna have to go into discharge here. I'm gonna try to go for another protect here. I'm gonna try. We don't land it. We do not land it, but he's KOing Chiyu regardless here. Yeah, see. Told you. So it didn't matter if we, we land it or uh if we went into a different move. But high horsepower gonna fly. Now I think we're gonna die out to this. We actually outspeed. Hold up. Can we get a Paralyze on this thing? This charge going to fly. Doing beautiful damage. Give me a Paralyze on the Roll Boom. Give me a Paralyze on the Roll Boom. Give me a Paralyze on the Roll Boom. Nope. And high horsepower. That's going to KO us. This Roll Boom going nuclear. What is up with that? I wish I could see if that thing was choice banned or not. Because this thing is doing crazy damage. Do you guys remember in the Sword and Shield days where you can actually see your opponent's team after you got them versus them? I wish they would have added that in this because I would have loved to see that team. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below what they think that Rillaboom is. Or am I just crazy? Maybe that's just regular Rillaboom doing regular Rillaboom damage. But one shot of me right on, that's one thing. But one shotting my boy Iron Hands at 240 HP, that's a little sus, right? That's definitely a little sus. But, but it's not stab. That's my problem. If it was stab ground move, sure. Take me out all day. But it's not stab. This is what's freaking me out. But we're going up against Trap Ghost team in match number two. Rillaboom again. I don't 
like that thing now. It's scaring me a little bit. It definitely is scaring me. But to wrap it up, it's a great Pokemon. I might just want to lead screens here. Get them all for the squad. I think that's the play. So I'm going to go screens, Grimmsnarl for our lead. Um, I could also lead Chiyu or Iron Bundle, which I think is in my best interest. I think going into Chiyu could be pretty good here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Chiyu. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl. I'm going to bring me a ride on the back end because i got to worry about Boom. Last but not least, I'm going to give Iron Hands another shot at Fame, right? I'm going to give him another chance because last battle, I thought we were fine. I was just like, we're going to swap in Iron Hands. We're going to suck up a shot. We're going to have a fake out turn. We can really start getting after it. But once they one shot at my Iron Hands, I was like, dude, this is over. Because they're just going to one shot my Miraidon and we're going to struggle a little bit. But that Discharge did some damage. It did some damage. They're going to end up going Terrapagos and Robum, which is okay for me. I mean, they can fake out my, my Grimstone if they want. I'm going to set up a light screen here. And then I'm just going to start Spear Breaking down. I could Spear Break and Snarl if I want to. Just double down onto the special attack drops. But hopefully they fake out the Chiyu. That would be my favorite play of all. But I'm going to go Light Screen here. I'm going to go into a Heat Wave. And we're just going to look to do some damage. And maybe pick up some burns. Let's see. But hopefully, again, they're faking out the Chiyu. I would fake out the Chiyu. Because, you know, we got Covert Cloak on this bad boy. And he's going to fake out the Grim Snarl. The Grim Snarl gets faked out. That's fine by me. Heat Wave's now going to fly. And who's, who's dodging this? Okay, no, it's just a Terror Shell. Okay, that's fair. I don't mind that. I thought someone was dodging that. We do some big time damage rule boom. Any burns? Any burns? Not a burn. Terra Star Storm's gonna fly through here with no Terra. That's KOing me. That is so much damage. Why are Pokemon doing so much damage to me today? What is going on here? <laughs> like, Terra Star Storm with no Terra. Just wiping out my Grimmsnarl so I have no screens. That really hurts the soul. Your special offense is pretty good. And your defense is solid. What is going on here? What is going on? Um, I could bring out my ride on here. And I think I am going to do that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to thrash slice him into electric. And I'm just going to start ripping discharges. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. I'm going to go into ground terror type as well. With my Chiyu. Actually, yeah. We're going to do that. We're just going to throw a discharge across the board. We're going to thrash slice ground. And do I snarl or do I... I think we should snarl here. You could go in the Rage of Bolt, which is why I kind of want to snarl. Yeah, we're going to snarl here. And I remember the Ground Terror. Imagine I forgot the Ground Terror and I just wiped out my boy. That would be upsetting. But he's going to end up hard swapping here. He's going to go in the Rage of Bolt, which is a good call on my to go into the snarl. So we're going to lower this thing's special attack here. Rillaboom's going to get the Witch So the double swap. Who's taking this damage here? Who is taking this damage? Fluttermane, most likely dead. And he's going to want to bring back out Rollaboom, who I might just hard swap for. For my what's it called? For my Iron Hands. Give that a little bit of loving. But out comes my Terra. Can't believe my Grimstraw died out like that. Yo, why, is, why are my Pokemon getting dumped on today? It's fine. We got this nice, lovely ground Terra chilling with my Chiyu. Lovely little ground Terra. And now Discharge comes. So I don't think Fluttermane's really surviving too much here, right? Yeah, Fluttermane's a goner. So we get rid of that Fluttermane, which is massive. Fluttermane's just a, such a pain in the neck. Super fast, super strong Pokemon. And Snarl's gonna connect to lower Rage Bolt special attack and actually do some nice damage. That's what I love about Chiyu's Snarl. It's stab, it gets a nice boost. So they're pretty much gonna be bringing back out Rollaboom. And in that case, we could just... Do we hard swap me right on? <clears throat> Could hard swap me right on. Which I think I think definitely is our play. Yeah, let's hard swap me right on just go into a heat wave. Play it, play it smart. Play it smart. You got vest, you got everything. And we'll just go into a heat wave. Rage Bolt's already minus one. This heat wave should be able to finish off Rillaboom. Unless you terrestrialize Rillaboom. But I think you want to save your Terra for Terrapagos, right? Terrapagos without the Terra is just it's just eh. It's just eh. So actually, I don't know. Do it do I want them to do that? That's fine, I got Cobra Cloak. Heat Wave Flying, he's probably so upset. Bye bye, Roll Boom. Nice damage onto the Raging Bolt. That Raging Bolt might be dropping the Draco Meteor here. I wouldn't be surprised. And this match is looking pretty good, considering we can have terrain control. And now he's going into Dragon Pulse. Can we soak that? Minus one? Of course we can. Love you, Chiyu. Love you, Chiyu. So now from here, we know our Chiyu outspeeds the Terrapagos. Or not the Terrapagos, the Raging Bolt. 
but but Terapagos can outspeed our Chiyu. So what I want to do here is just fake out the Terapagos and get off Snarls and just Snarl away, Snarl away, Snarl away until I had to bring out my Miraidon and then just discharge away and win this match. So that's pretty solid on our end, right? Pretty good plays on our end. He just cancels the battle. We're sitting one and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Final match on its way, and we're going up against Eternatus. Now, I haven't versed Eternatus in a good bit, but I know this thing can hit like an absolute truck. It's poison, it's dragon typing. We're gonna have to watch out for that. But they got two, maybe three fake out users if you count Grimmsnarl. I know Grimmsnarl learns fake out, but it doesn't use it too much, right? Um, I could go into my Grimmsnarl lead, which I don't mind. I could also go into Chiyu, which I don't mind either. Considering Chiyu just has that cover cloak and it always works out well. So I'm gonna go Chiyu, I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl, I'm gonna bring me a ride on, and last but not least, I think Iron Hand's just a great, great Pokemon here. Or I could go Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle's looking pretty well. You don't have a water move, do you? You're strictly ice, right? You got terrible ice ground. Terrible ice ground isn't bad. Hmm. Who does Jeans want? Again, Iron Hands could be pretty solid here. I might just go Iron Hands. I'm gonna go Iron Hands. We're going to the same squad. Same squad as last match. We're looking for this winning record here. We are one and one. My Grimstraw and my Rollaboom are victims today, getting absolutely ripped into. Same thing with uh, Miraida in match number one. That Rollaboom is still annoying me, man. Still annoying me. I hope the person I versed is a viewer, just so they can let me know about that Rollaboom. And I'll be so upset if that's just normal Rollaboom and I never notice how much damage I think can do. But he turns his flies through here. Grimstraw as the lead. Um. I don't mind this. Eternatus is special attacking, so I could just snarl early on here instead of a light screen. Which is probably in our best interest. Yeah, we're gonna go for a snarl. Snarl up. Light screen up. And then we'll go from there. Now, I wonder if you're screening up too. Yeah, double screens. You gotta let you can't if you you, you, you gotta match screens, right? You gotta go screens for screens. But Snarl, not a bad move. Lowering that special attack, which is pretty big for us. Um, I wonder what Eternatus is going for. Dynamax Cannon? Oh, Toxic? You're one of those. You're one of those. All right. I feel you. I see you. I understand. I understand. I understand. And your leftovers. All right. I understand. I see where we stand. I see exactly where we stand. I see exactly where we stand. Toxic. He's a toxic boy. I mean, he has no terrain control. You might just want to hard swap into it. Honestly, I'm just going to go for an overheat into this slot. Let's just start ripping. Let's double down into this slot. Actually, let's Thunder Wave you. Put a little Paralyze on you. Let's put a little Paralyze onto these, this Eternatus. Maybe waste out some turns. Slow it down a little bit. Overheat's going to fly with no Light Screen. Or with Light Screen, I should say. It still does decent damage. It's not bad damage. I will lower my special attack stat. He's gonna go for a spirit break, and he's lowering it himself. So I might just hard swap to you. They might double down and take me out. And a paralyze is gonna work here. That's a solid paralyze. That is a solid paralyze. So from here, do I swap to you? Do I save it for later? I mean, I could just let it die out to these toxics, which I think I kind of want to want to let that happen. And I think I just want to go into another Snarl and then just Spirit Break down this Grim Snarl try to KO it before it sets up a Reflect. Yeah, it's going to be my play. So Snarl's going to fly here. Do a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. Critical hit onto the Grim Snarl. And another Special Attack drop. Cool, 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 cool. Now does my Grim Snarl outspeed? It does. This should KO him. They don't have Reflect up, which is big news for us. So we get rid of you. So they don't have Reflect up. We can set up Reflect. Kind of like what we're saying. Not, not bad turns. And we got Paralyzed on the Sea turn test with Cosmic Power. Boosting this thing's defense. All right, yeah, you, you got to go. You got to go. This this thing's here to be annoying, right? He's got to go. He's got to go. He's just bulking up his defense here. I wish we had, like, Haze or something. This thing is going to be a problem. I think this thing might be able to start the whole match. Cosmic Power, Toxic, he turns this. Can't be serious, right? You cannot be serious. I guess I'll go for overheat. We're kind of looking for burns. I'd rather go for this. We're going to do that. And honestly, we should just spirit break instead of set up reflect. This could be bad. This Eternatus is just going to cosmic power up. We're going to deal with it when we can. 
If a certain strikes flies, we should soak this. I'll set up a fuck next turn. And if I had to guess he turned, it's probably going for another cosmic power. Most likely. Hopefully it gets paralyzed. We're gonna need some paralyzed help here. E Wave's gonna connect. Do a little bit of damage on the Earth's food. Can we get a burn? It'll help. Nope. Spirit Break flying. With no reflect. Not KOing, but still I like the damage. I like the damage. There's cosmic power. Oh man, yeah. We're 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 in for a treat here. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. My only way of dealing with this is potentially just like me ride on hitting this thing with Draco Meteor. But yeah, this is not looking good. Chiyu's gonna die. Chiyu is a goner. Chiyu is a goner. Do I do I go after that thing with Draco Meteor? I might just go into Discharge instead. This is tough, man. This is tough. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I do not know how I'm going to deal with this. So I'm going to set up Reflect. I'm just going to sacrifice my... my uh, I'm going to sacrifice my boy. Do I Terrastalize you, though? I definitely want to go into this Charges. Definitely want to go into this Charges. You could have Iron Hands, though. That's my problem. That is my one problem here. With going into that. Do I just go Electro Drift? How much faster are you? I'd rather Volt Switch Pivot here. I'm gonna go to Volt Switch and I'm gonna set up this Reflect. So Reflect comes out here. I'm hoping me Raiden can just outspeed. And it doesn't. That really hurts because I can't Volt Switch. Actually, I can still Volt Switch Pivot. That's fine. So we're going to be able to Volt Switch Pivot. He's probably going for a Toxic here. And I can reset my choice. Okay. Hopefully he's paralyzed here. We don't feel like dealing with the Toxics right now. I should have just went to a Draco Meteor. I should have just went to a Draco Meteor. Which I think I have to do this next turn. Oh, man, yo. Eternatus like this? I was just expecting like Dynamax Cannon Sludge Bomb kind of play. But Cosmic Power Toxic? Mm mm. We don't like this. Let's see what he's doing. What you got cooking here? Toxic? Miss it if you're going for it. You are going for Toxic. He's going to land it. Alright, alright. Alright. Let's see what their final Pokemon is. Because I pretty much need me ride on to maybe just like crit this thing. <laughs> and, and KO it. Honestly, Draco Meteor can probably do a ridiculous amount of damage if he's not going to Terrastalize. That's the only thing I'm scared of. It's him Terrastalizing. The one thing I'm scared of. So I'm going to, I'm forced to pretty much go into Draco Meteor here. And I have Fake Out, but I, hopefully you're faster, right? Hopefully, my Iron Hands is faster than their Iron Hands. 72, that speed's not bad. Speed's not terrible. I'm hoping you're faster than them, because I want to fake out their Iron Hands. And I just want to go into a Draco Meteor into Eternatus. Let's do it. Let's send it. Let's send it. Fake out is going to fly. We do outspeed, which is huge. Draco Meteor. Do something crazy. Do something crazy. Stab, choice spec, in the terrain. Half damage. That's not bad. That's not bad. I want a little bit better here. Toxic is going to fly here. He's just poisoning me up. He is just poisoning me up. So he's going to protect Eternatus here. There's no way that this thing doesn't have protect, right? With leftovers and all that stuff, he's going to protect that thing. I'm going to have to make a read here. Going to have to make a read. The thing is, our lead was just not that good for Eternatus. For this Eternatus, right? For this Eternatus, it wasn't that good. I didn't mind the snarls and all that. I thought that was great. But once I seen this thing just toxic up, it was just like, oh man, this is getting ugly real quick. But from here, I mean, terrestrializing isn't really going to help us. We just have to go for a Draco Meteor and get after this thing. You're just not protecting, which is kind of annoying. You're just not protecting. Or terrestrializing. Really weird. He has Flamethrower, so there's some moves from him. He's going to get a crit. I needed the crit. I needed to crit. Drain Punch doing some nice damage. We will get back a little bit of HP. 
And we have to get after this turn. The stream punch is gonna fly in this slot. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping my drain punch can actually KO this Iron Hand. It's gonna actually be pushing it a little close. And we're just gonna trick a meter to see turn to sound again. Can this thing lose another turn to paralyze? We really want that because Toxic's gonna start chipping hard, man. Toxic is gonna start chipping hard. Oh man, sorry, you're going for the Iron Hands. Now I could double down to Iron Hands. I really could. Which might be my play. Because I mean, we're really not doing that much damage to this thing. We have to kind of KO Iron Hands. Because we need a crit onto me right on. And you know what? I'm gonna double down to Iron Hands here. I'm doubling down to Iron Hands. So Dragon Meteor landed pretty well, which is good news. My special attack is minus six. It's not doing much. Eternatus is paralyzed, which is huge. So you lose a turn to paralyze. My Iron Hand's gonna go. It's gonna finish off their Iron Hands. So we're basically in need of a crit here, right? We are basically in need of a crit. They do have Light Screen up, which I totally forgot about. Can Light Screen end? I totally forgot that they don't have Reflect and... And, uh... They have Light Screen. This is bad. This is kind of close, though. This is kind of close. I think Iron Hands has one more turn left in them. Yep, one more turn. Does this Eternatus really not have Protect? It's gotta have Protect. I'd be so surprised if you don't have Protect. But from here, we're gonna go for Heavy Slam. It's in our best interest. And Drake Meteor, looking for the crit. Looking for the crit. Now, did they Terrastalize already? I don't think they did. That's why I, I keep wondering if they're gonna Terrastalize or not. I don't think they did, right? Because they let Eternatus and we just snarled it with Grimmsnarl. And they just haven't Terrastalized since. We haven't Terrastalized either, but there's no point of us Terrastalizing. We don't gain we don't gain any boost from these things. Grass Terra, Electric Terra. It's not gonna help us out. It's not gonna help us out. Considering we know this thing has flamethrower now. So it's not good. Joker Meteor flies. Give me crit. No crit. Recover. That's your final move. Only way of winning is getting a crit with Joker Meteor. It's the only way. Only way of winning. So this is why you don't have protect. We're doing negative five damage with this move. And we need a crit! Pokey gods. I need you now. I need you now. I need you now because Mirada might have this this might be his last turn. You might have one more shot. Because you're going to Toxic here. Eternatus. So annoying. So annoying. If I knew this thing had toxic and stuff, I would just led my Mirada and got after it. Would have led it. Come on, Mirada. One last shot to shock the world. The Draco Meteor heard around the world. Right here. Give me a crit. Negative five. <laughs> oh, it's paralyzed. We got another shot. It's our last Draco Meteor too. It's our last Draco Meteor as well. It's our final Draco Meteor. We used it eight times this battle. And we're going to miss this one. I have a feeling. I don't know why I feel it in my gut. And wait, are we out? Oh, that was a... Oh, you have pressure, don't you? Never mind, we didn't use it eight times. He was just pressuring me the whole time. That makes sense. I struggle to death. Thanks for playing. GG's Eternatus. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A one and two losing record on the day. Not too bad, not too good. Wish we could have got ourselves more wins. But honestly, we just played some good opponents with some really weird off-meta teams. Or I wouldn't say off-meta teams, except for that Eternatus. Which was kind of cool to lose to. So, props to our opponent on that one. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.